People are always asking me what kind of advice I can give to future little toy hunters or future collectors, and the advice is simple. Collect what you love. This is supposed to be fun. Woo! <laughs> you can find rare items almost all around you. In any town, there will be car sales or garage sales or flea markets. Talk to people. See if they've got any old toys in their basement or their attic. Whoa! Just get out there and never stop looking. The easiest way to find out what your toys are worth is by doing research. Go on the internet, look at auction sites, look through search engines and find forums and collecting sites that may have the stuff that you have. You know, everyone's always asking me, Jordan, what can I buy today that's gonna be worth money down the line? If you want a really good tip as to what antiques may be worth value, take a look at the franchises they're connected to. What you wanna do is you wanna see a toy and you wanna think to yourself, do I know this toy? Did anyone 20 years ago know this toy? Will anybody 20 years from now know this toy or know the franchise it's connected to? Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. Right now, the most popular toy franchise ever in the collecting community has got to be Star Wars. Disney has just acquired Lucasfilm, and I don't ever see the Star Wars franchise stopping. May the force be with you, man. You know, a lot of people come to me and they say, Jordan, how much are the toys really worth in the box? How much does the packaging really factor into the overall value? And I tell them, packaging is everything. For example, this toy right here. This is Kenner's 1976 Bionic Man. Steve Austin, the toy is in perfect condition, probably one of the best boxes I've ever seen. It's still sealed on both sides. If you look here, the flap is still perfect. The toy's never been touched. If this toy were loose, you're talking maybe 20 or $30. But in the box, the price goes skyrocketing. Right now, if I were to sell this toy in the open market, you're talking easily $2,200. Condition and quality is everything, and collectors are always gonna pay big money for the top choices.